Hello and welcome to Jessie Fit Pilates, your home to get fit, toned and flexible as we strengthen, stretch and smile. We are here today and we are going to do a strap workout. I got this one from Everstretch, but these loop style straps can be really, really awesome for you if you have different limited mobility. They're just really comfy. This one has got really nice padding and such on it. So I wanted to do a full workout with it. We're gonna be holding a lot of these moves for a good 30 to 60 seconds. You're always welcome to hold less if it hurts. You're always welcome to hold more if it suits you. I'm gonna to start today with my lat is extended. You can always sit on a block or bend your knees if that is really challenging for you. And now what's going to be important is you'll slide your hands into the loops. If you don't have a regular strap, just you, if you don't have a strap like this, just use a you know regular yoga strap or even a t-shirt or a towel. And we're going to want to try to keep our arms in one spot and the band or the strap really taut, right? So I actually am gripping out, so if I wanted to go in, right, that's gonna be a little bit too tight for me. So you have to find the right spot, and back, and forward. And I'm gonna bend my knees just a little bit more. And this really challenges me, because I can't cheat. You see, I have to have my hands kind of there. If I don't, if I bring them together, I'm not gonna get the stretch. A few more times. Really opening through the front of your body. Try to keep those arms long. Now I can take a little bit wider and it'll be a little bit easier. Uh, but if you want that challenge, you'll bring your hands a little closer together. One more time. Awesome. Now bring it back forward. And let's go ahead and loop the feet in. And I'm going to bring it to like the balls of my feet and I'm going to really flex my toes. I'm going to soften my knees just a little bit just so I can really sit up tall and I'm not leaning in. And from here I'm going to bend my knees and just keep my chest lifted. So I'm going to keep tension here and I'm going to take a few deep breaths in here and I'm going to try to keep my chest open as I slowly, keeping tension on you, just bring my body a little closer to my thighs. Nice deep breaths, exhale and inhale. And maybe bring yourself just a little bit more forward, keeping that chest really long. Really draw your abs in. Keep a little tension on that strap. And from here, Let's go ahead and loop. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna stack my hips up here. And I'm gonna stack my hips here, right? So stack knee stretch. We can take a few little stretches here. Let's hold the strap in front and just keep your chest really lifted and keep your hips really square. Maybe taking the strap behind your ears. Now I'm gonna lengthen down, right? Because I wanna bring this to the floor. Again, the closer your hands, the more challenging this will be. And I'm really side bending, trying to lift up through my chest. Maybe looking up towards the ceiling. I'm gonna keep both hips down, so I'm gonna readjust 
by setting and then opposite hip. I really want you to drop it down. So right now I'm bending. If you're looking at me, it'd be to your left, but your right hip. I want you to really keep it down. Now look up towards the ceiling. Keep dropping that top arm down. And then bring it here. I'm gonna bring my hands a little closer together and just do the stretches we did on the other side here. So bring it forward. I'm keeping that strap really taut. Up. Forward. Up. Forward. Up. Now, right from there, I'm gonna take this down and I'm just gonna come side to side just to loosen up my back a little bit more before we get into the other movements. And go ahead and do that to the other side as well. And then let's bring our legs out to that extended position again. This time I want you to loop sort of towards, more towards the heel. And I'm just gonna round slowly forward. So I'm gonna draw my abs in a little bit different. I'm gonna bend my knees in. I'm just gonna try to get a little bit deeper for a few moments. I'm gonna take a few little side bends, a little bit of movement before I loop. We're gonna actually go to the end. Now, if you're using a yoga strap, it'll look a little bit different. So I'm gonna bring my foot, I'm gonna bring it to the center of the foot. And because I wanna be able to connect my leg bone in. If you're a beginner, you can always take that leg down. In fact, let's go ahead and leave that leg bent for a second. And let's just do a few little drills. So square up your hips, find your neutral spine. Let's just take this leg down and up a few times. And then you can kind of hold it there and then bend and stretch that knee just to kind of get a little deeper and just safely warm up the muscles before we take them into any deep stretches. Now hold this here, square up your hips, just slide the other leg out and in a few times. Really try to stay in your neutral spine. Now hold it with that leg long and you can start to pull this leg towards you. We're gonna be here for just a few moments. Deep breath in and deep breath out, right? And maybe on every exhale, you kind of pull it in a little bit more and we can even get a few contract, relax, right? It's another sort of form of stretching where you're engaging the muscles and then letting it go. So the way you do that is, right, I'm gonna pull really tight. Now I'm gonna flex this foot. I'm gonna use the back of my thighs and press, press, press. We're holding. And then I'm gonna let it go. And I'm gonna, you know, like stop engaging the leg against it. And I'm gonna just bring it in. We'll do another round like that. So press down, down, down. And then I'm gonna pull this leg towards me. And you see if it just gets you a little bit deeper. One more round, press, 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 and then bring it on. Now, what's really cool about this strap is the way that you loop it, you can bring, so I'm looped it around the inside, and it just makes forgetting the outer and inner hamstrings a little bit easy. So without any strain, I'm really able to stay kind of square. You don't have to keep that opposite side down. And then I can really start to draw this leg out to the side. And we can do a few rounds of that PNF here. I press, I press it again, and then bring it across. I really feel on that outer hip. You might also feel the leg. And then we'll do another round, press it. And then bring it on across. One more round, press. And release. Now I'm gonna really, really bring that leg up, 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 up. And I'm gonna bring it around the other way. Right, so I'm gonna bring it around the outside so the strap is scooping. And I'm gonna bring, bring it up here and then reach it out to the side. 
Okay, hopefully I'm not gonna kick my <laughs> my table over there. But I'm really reaching that leg long and I'm trying to keep that leg in its socket. Deep breaths. And if you want to do a little bit of that PNF, you're gonna press down into it. And then stretch. A few more like that. So press, 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 press. And then release. Just gets a little bit deeper. One more like that. Press it. And we'll just hold it for a second or two there. And take another deep breath. Bring it home. Let's just take that ankle here. And the strap isn't really doing anything, but I just want to take a little bit of a figure four here. So I weave my hands around. You can also play around here if that feels good. And another really good stretch. Think if you wanted to use the strap, you could hook it. And then to the create a little bit of resistance, right? Pulling this arm in. And using that knee. Here, and I really feel it out in the outer hip, the glute muscles. Nice deep breaths. Maybe pull a little bit deeper. Drop the tailbone down just so your butt's not lifting up in the air. And let's just take that leg up. And now you'll see because we did that little switch, the other leg is in. So let's just do exactly what we did the other side. We did a few little mobility drills here. And then we bended and stretched the leg, right? So I'm trying to keep this knee over here. Try to square your body off. And then finally the opposite leg. It's gonna reach out in a few times. Try to keep your hips even, both shoulders on the mat, neutral lower back. And now maybe you can hold it. And we'll start to stretch this leg. Right, actually you should probably have this a little bit lower so it's the same as I had on the other foot. And then that really having in that position, I can kind of press down into my leg and just keep that bone in its socket. Otherwise that bone will start to kind of creep out. Now press down with the back of your up thigh. Press, press, press. And then that PNF, right? So release. The advantage of the loops, you see I'm kind of playing around with it the whole time and then press it, press it, press it, and then give it that big stretch. Deep breaths. And then press, 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 and hold. Now, same thing that we did on the other side, we're gonna wrap to the inside first. Inside, bring it around. And then keeping that hip square, you should be able to get that leg kind of across. And you wanna just kinda keep that hip on the floor and you'll see it kind of catches the weight of your leg and you're really just not worried about holding this leg up with your muscles. Try to keep that opposite shoulder down, that's kind of my thing. That's, you know, if you start going there, the change of stretch is not necessarily bad, it's just not what I'm looking, I'm trying to target the leg and the hip. Not so much the low back, which is what you'll get into. Or the thigh and let's see if we can start to add that contract so press down into the strap press press really activate those muscles and then release and really stretch a little bit deeper and then press 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 and stretch And then press, 
press down, press down, press down. Now we're going to switch the side that we're kind of looped on and it's going to go to the outside. So we can get that inner thigh. So let's actually just bring it up first and then bring it out to the side. And then you want to try to keep, this is definitely my tighter side, that hip in its side. So that's the hard part. And I mean, I don't really get too far with this one. Deep breath in here. And try to get that opposite shoulder on the floor. That's kind of the advantage. You can play around with when you're holding the strap. It might actually make sense for me to draw that shoulder back and hold from this hand. And now we can go into the contract, relax. I'm going to press it, press it, press it, and then release. And you can see it really, really helps me. I'm able to stay in alignment and press. And then release and big stretch. Make sure you keep breathing. We'll do one more round. Press. And release. And just pause. Let's go ahead and bring this leg now here, right? So first we keep here. Unloop the foot. And we can do that figure four. And kind of use the strap to help. Add a little tension into the hip, right? I feel this in my other hip, my glute. Deep breaths. Now, from here, let's see if we can keep the strap looped in. And let's go into some quad stretches. So, I'm going to bend my knees, my knee that's in the foot, and I'm just going to kind of lay here. Behind the seats and drawing my abs in. And the closer you bring your heel to the butt, the more uh, challenging it's gonna get. Take a few deep breaths in. Just keep really pulling your abs in tight. And then if you wanna make it a little bit more challenging, you can lift either your arms or your thigh. And maybe hold, remember if that's too much on your back, just let the, you know, let the knee drop. Another deep breath in. And I'm really getting a big opening in that thigh, my back. I'm gonna settle down for a few seconds here, let that knee come down. And then, I'm going to take this loop off. I'm going to loop this one on. And this is going to come here. Same thing. Abs are in. Heel to bottom. If you want to increase the intensity, lift. Definitely a bit harder on the back to stay lifted here. 
release for a second. Now, let's come back to the stacked hip. And let's, I'll give you the side view actually. And the leg that's on top, take that arm up. And we can do our cow face using the strap. So this arm is up. And the other arm can grab the strap or the straps or your t-shirt and we can sit here lifting up tall and then coming forward and holding here keeping the chest lifted right getting a nice stretch in the shoulders the chest trying to maybe bring the hands together more Two more deep breaths, inhale and exhale. Now let's go ahead and take the straps behind you, extend out the legs, bring the hands back and maybe just slide the hands back using the strap opening through the chest. You can maybe lift up, get a deeper stretch. Mobilize through those shoulders, maybe slide the shoulders back, a little shake, and then finally bring the other leg on top, bring the other arm up, and come to your stack tip and your cow face pose, lengthen your body, and then let's bring it forward. Keeping the spine tall, keeping the abs engaged, and both sides of the hips down. Maybe you can touch the fingers together. Out from here. Let's go ahead. to a wide position and you can take like a little happy baby. We can also put the feet in the loops. And you can kind of take this happy baby, just kind of spreading the feet out into the straps and drawing, you know, just a little bit of mobility. Maybe stretching the legs up and in that wide position, just drawing the legs towards you. And then finally, I'm gonna lower my legs down and scoop forward. And I hope you enjoyed my strap workout. Thank you to EverStretch for sending these over. I'm gonna make some infographics I was pretty surprised at how little content there was with straps, so I will make some for you. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.